So, your iPhone is stuck in a boot loop and you feel like it's trash and you just want to throw it away. Please don't throw it away, I have a solution for you. What's up guys, thanks for checking out Milk's Tip. Today's video is going to be a bit different. So I have a friend of mine who reached, reached out to me. Um, she has this phone and it's been stuck in a boot loop for two days straight. <laughs> you serious? She needs my help. So I decided to make this into a video so I can show you guys how to navigate this problem. So before we begin, I would like to say I publish new videos every week. Please like, share, subscribe. It really helps to make more videos when you like my videos. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix this problem and how to get rid of it. But before we get there, like what really causes this problem? This problem is caused by a few reasons. One of the main reasons is that when you update your phone, sometimes the update might not complete. And if it doesn't complete, it makes file systems a bit corrupt and then you won't be able to start so it will be stuck in that loop. Sometimes it's just you might install applications and they might cause it not to be able to start uh, like it normally it would. If you jailbreak your phone and you install new modules, sometimes those mess up uh, your phone. Sometimes phones don't feel okay and they just need a break and they just want to rest. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. There's so many reasons why this can happen. So I mainly have three solutions to get this problem fixed. And most of the times I don't usually get to use all the three solutions. Sometimes I just use the first solution and it just works uh, perfectly. So we're going to try one by one. Hopefully one of them will be able to fix your issue depending on what really caused your phone to get stuck in a loop. The first method is very simple and it's a quick one. Anyone can do it quickly. All you need to do is hold your phone. Make sure that the, you're seeing the Apple logo uh, before you press this. Press and, press and hold the volume up and then release. Volume down, release and then the power button. I hold that for a few seconds until the screen goes off. Now what we are doing here is called a hard reboot. So we are trying to reboot the phone so that it can try to restart. This works uh, most of the times depending on what really caused the boot loop. If it's something minor, this normally works. But if it's something really major, you might need to try other solutions. So as you can see with this phone, I've tried this and I still get back to the same screen. So this means this is a method that's not promising. I would recommend trying this at least three times before moving forward to the next, uh, trying the next solution. So let's move to the method number two. So method number two and method number three would require you to actually have backed up your phone. If you didn't back up your phone, uh, there's a chance you might likely lose all your information. So I would recommend you to try this other, this method after you've backed up. Now you're probably wondering how can I back up a phone in this? Well, you can't. You can't back it up right now, but hopefully you backed up your information with iCloud or iTunes before this happened. I'm assuming you backed up. Remember I mentioned that most of the times it's because an update might not have completed. So we're going to try to update this phone to see that we can fix this problem. So method number two requires us to put the iPhone into recovery mode. And in order to put it into recovery mode, we're going to press and hold volume up, volume down, and then the side button or the power button. But just keep holding it until the iPhone reboots and just keep on holding it. And then you will see this screen. Now when this shows up, uh, iTunes will show you that you have an iPhone that's connected that needs to be restored. Remember, we're trying to update, we're not trying to restore. These are two different things. We're going to click on update and then follow the prompts. And then iTunes is going to help us download the latest iOS update. And the reason we are doing this is we want to try to update this phone so that it can, we can go through the update process and that should be able to fix this problem. So make sure you click update, not restore. Downloading your iOS might take some time depending on uh, your internet speed. 
uh, it might take a few minutes to complete so I'm going to fast forward that come back when it's almost done okay so now that our update is done I'm going to make sure that the phone is still in recovery mode and then I'm going to proceed with updating this phone you can see we are running into an error that says error 14. Now error 14 tends to come up when you have uh, corrupt files, when you have USBs that, that are not working. Um, but 14 is somehow different from error 9. So, so this clearly means that updating this phone is not going to solve this problem. We've already tried hard reboot, did not work. We've tried updating it did not work. So now that we've tried all these two methods, we are going to try the third and the final method. So the final method is just very simple. We are going to do the same thing like we did in th uh, the second method. The difference is this time around, instead of clicking update, we are going to restore. So same procedure, I make sure the phone is in a recovery mode and then I'm going to fast forward this process. So as you can see that uh, the phone is almost done with the process, it's just installing seamlessly and we've not had any error show up. Consider this to be the last resort. This is the last method. If you're already frustrated and you just want to get through this, you would do method number three because method number three never fails. It always clears the phone, it always just makes things faster but I would recommend going through these other options before you go to method number three. I am a hundred percent that one of these methods will be able to help you. I hope that you find this video very helpful and I hope that your problem gets solved. The question for today is what method works for you? Please let me know down in the comments. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.